Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 a Game of Thrones. They tried to stop us. First it was the Builders, and then it was the Hay Fever, and then it was the Builders again, and then it was the Mod Update. But we're back. The Lord of Light has guided us through to the other side. I've had to make a compromise, and that is we have rolled back to the previous version of the mod, which just means uh, the, the same one we were already playing, basically. Because if we update to Crusader Kings 1.9.2.1, that's a lot of points, uh, things are just broken. Everyone's Old. For some reason, my throne room was the throne room of Pike, which, if it loads, there we go. You can see we're, we've managed to fix that as now as well. I'd much rather continue our story than start a brand new series right now. What's this? Court event available. Let's jump back into our our story and our lore. We have lands to conquer today, I imagine. A pool of blood is congealing under the feet of Theoden, a diplomat sent by my ally Lord Paramount Gilbert of the Westerlands. Ah, that's the Lannistains. By the immense quantity soaked up by my fine carpet, I can only assume he has been bleeding on this spot for hours, if not longer. My apologies for this mess, I was defenestrated by a dwarf trying to rob me in an inn on my journey to Starfall. However, as the rap scallion cushioned my fall, the diplomatic visit can continue. It will still be days until my blood loss is fatal. <laughs> you silly man. Right. Yeah, guards, force this man to see a physician. Uh, there we go. And my physician, my maester, has managed to, to cure him there as well. That's all nice and good. Right. Uh, it's pointless you bleeding out, isn't it? So how did we leave things in the last episode? I believe we were training my children, right? You're my brother. Where, where's my player Aaron's son? So... Dawn requirements have changed, but not for us because we're back on the old version, so we can continue with our plan. Now, who is training you? My wife. We were going to have someone, Cyrus. Cyrus, you would be brilliant for educating, but even better... Where is he? He came to my court. Who's wielding Dawn? Uh, we can check here. So, where is Dawn? Dawn is here. Corbin. Corbin is, in fact, my marshal. So Corbin already wields Dane. Yeah, Vengeful's not a bad trait. So we could have Corbin educate my children as well, or at least squire them. Would be very good. He only has a skill tactician, so that's fine. I think I will have my, my son squire for him. Right, you're my captain, Cyrus. I mean, you're another candidate as well. We'll keep them there because we might have plenty of sons uh, to train one day. But let's wait until they're, they're 15 because we need to trigger it afterwards. Right. I think we can unpause. Things are going okay. Do we have any claims? I have too many duchies. Oh, dear. Because in the last episode, I remember now, we went ahead and took Harrenhal, didn't we? We did. So we need to decide who to give this to. We have a dangerous faction as well. There's a liberty faction going on here. And you want the power... You want Starfall? Oh dear, Orivor and Quentin here. Trying to betray me, right. You already have... I mean, I could give it to you instead, actually. You absolutely hate me, though. But I will go ahead and give you the duchy because you own Harren Hall itself. So let's go ahead and give you the High Lordship. We'll transfer those vassals over as well. So that should cause us a few less issues. And we're not over our duchy limit now. Powerful vassals expect council positions. No. Take concubine. Right. That's something we should do. Because we are heterosexual. Unlike my father. These aren't concubines I'm really interested in. What we should find is maybe concubines with traits. So I would like to get some geniuses in my court. Now, if we sort by age. Because we don't want anyone too old, do we? Uh, Gregor... We would want a female as well, most likely. <laughs> right, let's pick female. There we go. Adrena here is actually hail and a genius. Now, how would I make her my concubine? I would have to invite her to court. There's no way she's going to accept that, is there? And we don't have the abduct scheme either. In fact, yeah, I don't think we're going to find anyone who will willingly join our court here. Uh, the only thing I can think of is if we go for the same faith, but that's not going to happen. So we're going to have to consider that. What's my trait? I am Herculean. So if I pick one of my concubines here, we could very well have more strong children. Let's go ahead and make them my concubine. I will force her to be my concubine. Do you have a husband? You do. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, she hates me. It's fine. And um, we can have you as a concubine as well. And you have... Oh, Lord Morris is your husband. Oh, I don't want to annoy Lord Morris up here. Do you know what? I will allow your wife to go, Lord Morris. 
if she converts demand conversion she will not accept she is reluctant to convert oh dear morris she's going to become my concubine <laughs> oh dear we're annoying the, the the house dane now as well right let's go ahead and unpause i'm getting myself into a bit of mess here we also need to improve control i think let's go back down here to starfall there we go and we can go ahead and start improving control because it has diminished a little bit. Do I have any claims? I don't. I can imprison Orivor as well because you stole my artifacts. I mean, we're compassionate, so I won't kill him. But I do want my artifacts back. Can I, can I demand them? I can't because I've already used it. So I'm going to imprison him because he's broken the law. He's going to refuse that. Uh, and then I'm going to raise the men. I am in debt, foe. To my liege, blessings upon you and your house. It seems that there is no recourse for our dispute. I haven't had to settle it on the battlefield. Let's rally the troops. So we're going to have to raise all the men. Oh, dear. Ah, you were my hand as well. Right, we need money. Money would be good. So who should I make... My cousin, you're already my admiral. My, you're my spy master. My half-brother, vassal and captain. And he's my friend, Quentin here. I'm going to make you my hand, even though you're plotting against me. Let's go ahead and raise the taxes a little bit here. And uh, we need to go ahead and raise the men as well. We've got two armies here. Ah, where... Okay, no, you guys. I don't want you guys over here. Let's go ahead uh, and delete this banner. There we go. This is why I... I Tend to not use this button. Right. Let's go back down here. We can disband the army. And now let's raise them all again. They should all be one army. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to lead the men as well. 34 commander advantage. Wowzers. That's amazing. Call cool allies to war. We shouldn't need our allies, thankfully. What I'm also going to do is put you back on organized army. Just because uh, we need to keep on top of this. To my vassal, as an influential lord paramount, it is only fair that you have a voice on my council. In recognition of this fact, I hereby offer you the position of the Master of Coin. Ooh. I will accept that. So what do I get? I get an extra free gold per month, plus 20% domain taxes, minus 20% building cost, and stewardship lifestyle experience. Am I a steward? No, I'm going down Marshall, but that's fine. Uh, I will still very happily accept that. That's incredible stuff. Right, two days left to raise the army. There we go. No... Oh, I'm no longer captain of the household guard, though. That's fine, because I've upgraded. I'm now the master of coin. Right, let's go down south. We can go ahead and take this straight away. In fact, we can intercept their army here. What we can also do, one of you recommended this. How do I split? I don't want to split in half. Oh, it's just going to split in half. I wanted to split off a new army. Ah, I couldn't do it because they were moving. Right. If I keep them still and then I go split off new army and I just have the, the siege equipment over here like this, that should be fine. And then do we have someone with the siege? Yeah, look at that. My spy master is a military engineer. So we're going to go and have him siege whilst my first army hunts them down. There we go. Hopefully the, the video quality is a bit better for you guys as well because I have upgraded my graphics card. And we should be uploading 1440p and 60 FPS now. But this mod is quite difficult to run anyway. <laughs> so whether we're, we're truly getting in 60 FPS or not is yet to be seen. We've already captured him. Wow, that was a very fast fall. Let's enforce the demands. To my liege, blessings upon you and your house. I know when I am defeated. It seems I'm left with no choice but to comply with your demands. So be it. All right, that, that was very easy, wasn't it? How did we do in that battle? We actually killed two of his champions. None of them were Danes, but we really didn't want to do that, I guess. So, Orival, you're here now. Now, I am compassionate, but you have betrayed me. I can demand artifact once more. I think it was this one you took from me, actually. So, let's go ahead and demand this before we continue on. I do apologize if you hear any background noise. The builders are here once more, of course. Our arch enemies. Let's see. Let's go and put you back on increased control as well. That should be fine. So if we go to factions. Orivor is no longer here because he's in prison. Yeah, you can't join because you're in prison. But if I take away his titles, that would work as well. So should I do that? What am I doing? Let's go to our prisoners. We are compassionate, so I won't kill him. But I think I will revoke his titles. 
because he revolted against me. As simple as that. So let's go ahead and revoke this one. I now gain a rivalry with my brother as well. But I will let him live. I will go ahead and ransom him. There you go, 100 gold there. So at least he still has his life. We need to go ahead and give the elbow to someone now as well. Do you know what I'm thinking? Where is Quentin? I need to go back and find Quint- uh, Corbin, even. If I go ahead on Corbin, I should probably pin him so we can keep an eye on him. Let's close all these menus. There we go. So Corbin is down here. I might give him some land just because he is wielding Dawn. Can I- oh, I can demand conversion as well. Let's demand conversion. And then once he accepts that, I can go ahead and give him his new lands. There we go. He has converted to Faith of... Oh, I thought I said Faith of the Seven. I panicked. <laughs> right. Now we can go ahead and give him this. It's better if we do it this way, isn't it? Corbin, where are you? There we go. I'm going to give you some new lands. You're going to have the elbow and you will dawn as well. You're going to become a, a very valuable ally. Vassal. Realm will lose land when Vassal dies. Why is that? Who is your heir? Ah! Oh, and she can't have children. Ah, oh, that's that's detrimental. Oh dear, I've messed up. Right, it, it, it's fine. Okay, I have some prisoners. You guys were just imprisoned from the war, weren't you? I can ransom you. In fact, do you have any good stats? Not really. What about you? None of you are, are very good fighters. Well, you're a little bit better. I will release you. If you all join me. How about that? Because then, maybe I can use them. Ah, I can't use them to get concubines, can I? Not ideally. I'm going to annoy everyone. Roland, I imprisoned you four, four months ago. If you convert, I will release you. You won't convert. Okay, what about you? You won't convert either. Ursula Dane is here. What crime did you commit? I don't actually know. I completely forgot. It feels like it's been ages since I last played. I will release you, but only if you convert. And you join me. And you renounce your claims. <laughs> Employ execution. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and negotiate her release. There we go. Maybe I can make it. Oh, no, we've already got a good steward. What about a chancellor? My cousin and vassal. You're going to become my new chancellor. There we go. She's very good at that as well. Okay, things are, are somewhat going back to normal. We have these factions to deal with, though, which is problematic. Mainly the Liberty faction uh, are very strong. Lord Edgrun has discovered a spy. Grano was caught searching for secrets in the darkest corners of your court. Who sent you? Greetings, Lord Ulrich of Starfall. I have no choice but to accept. Okay, these are just prisoners. That's fine. It was Lord Gerald. Ah, he's all the way over here. I can't really do much about this, though. I will be merciful, but the scheming has to stop because she's told me who hired her. Uh, we will be merciful. Right, let's go and make our way back down to Starfall. We could declare some wars today. I wanted to. I've arrived in Starfall to pay homage to you. Ah, very nice. Thank you, Lord Edgren. I, I very much need the gold and whatnot, so it's very much appreciated. To the bonnie Lord of Paramount Ulrich. Your dimples of a life-giving son of my world. My heart yearns to feel the embrace of your love that I may know the depths of your love. Please, by the Elenai to my Durin. What the? That was a mouthful. These lines are but a bleak reflection on my feelings for you. I would do anything to prove my loyal affections. Who's this? Jerain Stone? You flatter me, lady. Maybe she can become my concubine. <laughs> right. We don't have any claims. No, I do have claims. On the reach. But they are... Oh, they're, they're quite strong. I need the High Lordship of Old Town. Uh, I should have done it for the High Lordship. Do you know what happened when I declared this war? I was still in the mindset of being uh, a duke instead of a king. So I thought they would become independent. But of course, I, I formed the Kingdom of Starfall. And I, I just completely forgot. Why are we losing gold? Because we're still replenishing men at arms. That makes sense. My child Joyf has recently become an age... Okay, not yet. We're going to wait until they're all older. I want them to be 15 before any of them squire for me. Are you increasing control? You are. So this is all going nicely again. Greetings, my benevolent liege. I've arrived in Starfall to pay homage to you. Corbin, sword of the morning. I will show you in at once. 
There we go. No gold, but he's given me some prestige and stuff, which we can use in the upcoming war. I would like some more armored horsemen, but I don't think we can afford it. Can we? Not right now. Uh, you're going to pay homage to me as well, Quentin. Thank you very much. I will accept your gift of gold. Before anything, I want to deal with this faction. I wish there was a way for me to trigger this earlier. In fact, Hammerin Hall is the ones doing this stuff. Am I swaying anyone? I'm swaying you. Let's stop that for a second. I kind of want to sway her instead. Let's Let's go ahead and do this, because I, I don't want that Liberty Faction to trigger. The latest work of my acquaintance, Lord Patrick, has become all the rage at court of late. The peace deals with memory and what we leave behind, and Patrick has publicly dedicated it to me. The Lord Paramount of Starfall. For mightiest men must leave this earth, no matter what realms they have given birth. And when their final hour nears, hope shall they their name brings cheers. So far I've kept the f my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore for much longer. Do you know what, Patrick? I can see this is truly heartfelt, and I thank you for the lovely poem. My maester absolutely adores me. My brother, Orifor, hates me. He is my rival. Let's unpin him. We don't need him. Uh, Cyrus, we'll, we'll keep you pinned, and Corbin, they're going to be my knights that squire, uh, train my squires, and then you're my half-brother? Why am I in charge? Let, let's ignore him. I'm going to focus on my children. Mo mostly Joriff. Uh, Darian, and then of course Sabetha as well. Sabetha isn't yet married off for an alliance. Oh. But, the Baratheons wouldn't be able to join me in the war, would they? We could get an alliance with the Starks, though. We have so many good opportunities now. Now that we're a kingdom, I already have an alliance with Lannistains, don't I? I do. So let's not get another alliance with them. Greetings, my benign lead. My entourage and I have just arrived in Starfall after wearying travel. There are important matters regarding the welfare of Dawnbrink that I must discuss with you. Where is Dawnbrink? If I right click... Oh, okay, it's right next to us. <laughs> it's literally right there. Um, I request an audience at your court. At your yes, Lord Quentin. I must speak to you at once. Lord Quentin has at last shown into my great tour and wastes no time before walking up to my throne and bowing deeply. Thank you for seeing me, my liege. I come to you today with an urgent request, with respect to your majesty. The High Lordship of Blackmont is rightfully mine. What do you mean? How can you say that? There's no way Blackmont is yours. You only have land down here, and Blackmont is up there. That Don't be ridiculous. No, I too lay claim to Blackmont. Get out of here with your ridiculous claims. Oh dear, my, my fellow Danes think me a fool, uh, I feel like. Absolute blast for me, that is. Right, should we go ahead and get an alliance? I feel like uh, I need this dangerous faction to trigger, though. I don't know why, but I, I, I'm getting performance issues since rolling back. Like, it was so smooth before. I think a Game of Thrones in general has really poor performance, though. Because uh, I had it on my old GPU and I see a lot of people on Reddit saying the same. I've turned down map objects. I could turn them off, but I don't want to. Lord Corbin has finished increasing control. Very nice. Right, let's go ahead and put you on train commanders. Suddenly, though, uh, I am getting much less frame rate when zoomed in there for some reason. I don't know what's triggered that. Yeah, it was absolutely fine just now. Okay, I, I tapped out and checked OBS. Nothing's wrong. Greetings, Lord Paramount, Orlok of Starfall. Your vassal, Lord Timion, has assaulted me gravely. <laughs> your, where's your clothes? Are you not getting cold up on the wall? Oh, dear. Um, a good one, Timion. Yeah, we don't care about the wall. <laughs> That's all the way in the north. We're down in the south. We're fine. As I enter the room, I notice my concubine, Grana, acting distant and aloof. I walk over to her and pull a hand on her shoulder. What's the matter, I ask? She looks at me for a moment, then sighs heavily. It's this place, it's just so understimulated. Well, I can stimulate you. That's why I made you my concubine. My shoulders heave and a shrug, I just don't want to know what to do with myself. Hmm. Let's see, frankly, maybe you should socialize a little bit. Yeah, why not? Oh dear, degraded relationships. Uh, my concubines aren't getting on, even though they're related. Oh dear. Uh, I I'm having trouble in my house, guys. This is this could be problematic, right? Should we declare war? The problem is, as soon as I declare war, uh, as soon as this happens, the Liberty Faction. Let's get an alliance first, because my allies would be able to join me anyway. We should be able to deal with it 
absolutely fine. So where's my daughter? I think we're gonna have to... Ah. The Stark Alliance has vanished now. Really? Why is that? Is that because I am losing relations with the war? It could be. What about the Lannisters? I think I already... No, I don't have an alliance with them. 8,000 men could be very useful. He is slow, but he's closer in age. Uh, Creston is more suitable, though. 10-year gap isn't the hugest. Uh, let's go ahead and send the proposal, and we can get an alliance with the Lannisters. That should be useful. Lord Ulrich, my delightful lion. My courtier Geraint is kneeling in the dust before me, right hand above a heart. My only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. Pray tell me, how can I prove my love for you? Um, do you know what? Bring me something unusual. Surprise me. I got a rare orchard for 20 years. What does that give us? Learning and prestige. Very nice. And we have our alliance as well to the charming Ulrich. I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Your daughter, Sabetha, will be betrothed to my brother, Creston. Excellent stuff. Just in time for us to declare war, I think. Should we do it? I mean, we do have this faction, but if they declare war, it's fine. I think we do it. It says he has a stronger army than me. Does he really, though? Does he? I don't think he does. <laughs> <laughs> the High Lordship. Yeah, let's do the High Lordship because then he gets all of the titles and all these people become his vassal. And we take a huge chunk out of the Reach, in fact. Wow, the Reach is huge though, aren't they? Oh, the Veil would come for us. Uh, I don't know if they like me enough, though. I might... S wait, let's wait. Let's deal with the faction. We'll save up some gold because then if my allies don't like me so much... Like, yeah, minus 29. We can bribe them so they join the war. That could be a thing. Caston, an interim bard popular with the common folk, has arrived at my court. A local landowner encouraged him to seek me out so that he might perform for myself and my household. Prior to the performance, he came to me to ask what sort of music would be most pleasing to my ears. I think you should sing of the valour of House Dane. Caston's performance went over swimmingly with not a single member of my household left unimpressed. Beyond the specific ballad I'd requested, Caston played many more gorgeous tunes, much to everyone's delight. I could have him join my court. He's not a very skilled person. A splendid evening it is. <laughs> I mean, we enjoyed the music, but as a person, we don't, we don't rate him too much. Ah, and there's the Liberty Faction, right. What is my crown authority? Not very high. I want to increase this, in fact. But let's wait, because we need to spend the prestige on the upcoming war first. I will not be threatened. We're going to fight this. Greetings, my benign liege. May you live in harmony and contentment. Well, I can't live in harmony if you're declaring war against me, can I? It seems that there is no recourse for our dispute other than to sell it on the battlefield. Maybe I misunderstand what harmony means, but that, that's not practice in harmony. harmony. Right, we need allies. Or do we? We need allies. <laughs> so we can call on the Westerlands. Let's go ahead and call them to the war. They will accept. Uh, we can also call the Lannisters from Casterly Rock as well. What about the Vale? The Vale would accept too. I mean, let's call everyone because then that way... Yeah, 100 soldiers. Why not? Uh, I'm going to offer you the, the, the chance to prove your loyalty to me. If we invite everyone, then we should end it faster. Let's raise the men as well. I will command... The armies, of course. Let's go ahead and go back on organized army as well. I want to save some of this gold at least. Greetings, Lord Paramount. All like a staff, of course. I should join you in this war. Excellent stuff. Oh, I've finished swaying you. Ah, because you've risen in a liberty war. Right. And I need a new chancellor now. My cousin, Lord Edric. Let's go ahead and have you there. We have a lot of family members on my council. I really like it when it's like this. I should start swaying my steward, maybe. Let's make him like us a little bit more. Uh, and the men are being raised. We could go ahead and attack them straight away whilst they are weak. That's a sizable amount of our lands against us. I may have to wait for our allies, though. Let's split off a new army. And we'll go ahead and put the siege equipment over there uh, at the very least. And then over here, I need a military engineer. There we go. Lord Edgren, you should put on some armor if you're coming to war. What are you doing? Right. Let's go ahead and siege this. And then as for the first army, 
maybe we can go ahead and fight someone. We'll have to see. No, we're not going to squire him yet. Wait until he's 15, game. There we go. More allies are joining us as well. Let's go ahead and pull it on free time speed. Faction disbanded. <laughs> they saw the might of my allies in the Liberty War. And they realized that actually they want nothing to do with this. We don't have <laughs> almost enough soldiers. Do you know what I should be doing with this? We need... Is it the levies? I should give them, possibly. Yeah, I should give them some levies, shouldn't I? Right. Let's just give them... I don't know. How many? I think a thousand should be okay. Let's go ahead and do that. And then this army can go over here and help these guys. There we go. Now they can siege. Let's go ahead and merge those. Uh, and that should be fine. How long on this? 60 days. Two years for this one. Because we don't have any siege equipment. But we're just here to defend, really. Uh, hopefully deal with any enemies that might rise up. I think we could go back on four times speed. In fact, we could just go up here. Ah, we got some. We could just go up here and fight this army and deal with them there. That was the plan anyway. Let's go ahead and fight them. It is friendly territory as well, so we should get some buffs. There we go. Look at that. We managed to catch up to them, and we should be able to easily destroy them here. Oh, my cousin was imprisoned. Damn it. I just made him my chancellor. Okay, we need a new chancellor. My steward. No, my vassal master, Caswold. Yes, you're going to become my new chancellor. <laughs> well, we're absolutely going through our councillors right now. Look at that. We managed to win this battle as well. After the battle in Putrid Hill, one of my attendants presents me a list of soldiers who performed exceedingly well. Allery's name stands out to me in particular. Allery Dane, my cousin. My attendants recommends that I knight them in a hasty battlefield ceremony. According to him, knighting these soldiers as they stand among the carnage and ruin on the battle will inspire morale among our ranks. Joy, yes, I will knight him because we don't have any easy way to knight people. And he's proven himself in battle. I surveyed a battlefield contemplating how this battle will be remembered and gazed towards the dead that remain. I notice a group of my soldiers approach and they politely bow before me. My lord, we came upon the enemy banner while we were cleaning the battlefield. We thought it would be a shame to leave it behind. Perhaps you wish to keep it as a trophy. Ooh. No. <laughs> Burn it as a sacrifice to the Lord of Light. How did we do in this battle? We killed one of their champions. Very nice. Look at that. We only lost 300 men. Wow. Okay, our army's good. Uh, and look at that. The, the Lannisters have arrived as well to support us in this problematic, rebellious situation we find ourselves in. Um... I'm going to need to bring the armies back down here. They might attack my, my sieging army. Oh, damn it. They have. They just raised some troops. We should be able to defend them in time. My wife is pregnant. Very nice. Hopefully another son. We're captured prison as well. We'll deal with them after the war. How is this doing? Two months left on this siege. Oh, everyone's piling in on this siege. Okay, 20 days left. I'll take it. I'll take it. Very nice. In fact, though... I kind of want to deal with this. Let's take our first army there. We've unlocked a martial perk as well. Let's get spouse opinion plus 50 and skills from spouse counselor tasks plus 25%. That should give us, look at that, we have 22 marshal now. We're actually a, a very competent commander at this point and we've managed to catch up to the enemy as well. This should be a very easy battle. What's this? Everything's happening. We took an artifact. To my vassal, I hoped it would not come to this, but I am left with my no other option. I must rescind your appointment as Master of Coin. Wallen, King Nolan, you have insulted me on this day. One day you will learn that House Dane should not be insulted. Ah, what's this? Maffin wants to be a knight as well. Yes, let's go ahead and knight him. Look at that. We're getting loads of knights now, which is very handy. 4,200 losses against our 89. Our army is incredible. Absolutely incredible. All right, let's go ahead and move you guys over here. Uh, we're going to try and chase down this army. Hopefully, we can, we can catch up to them. They, they seem to move much faster than I can move. And there we go. The veil has arrived as well. <laughs> this is a practice war, you see. For when we go to war against the Reach, uh, they're going to see our four might. My child, Dowie, no. Uh, not yet. I'm going to wait until he's a little bit older. Can I catch them in time? Ah, come on. I was right there. We just don't have the... Yeah, they're gone. 
they're, they are very much gone. I mean, we could just go ahead and siege this, I guess, whilst we wait. At least then we're, we're somewhat near here, but they're being defended anyway. So that's fine. 15 months, that's a, a while. Maybe I should put some siege equipment in there. Prisoners can be ramped and ransom. Wooden warrior. Uh, I don't care about that. I think it's for a child, isn't it? My prisoner, Lord Oakley, has escaped my dungeons? How? What? I've never had that happen in Crusader Kings before. How did he escape? <laughs> ah, damn it. It's fine. All right, let's go ahead and siege some more. No, that's my land. <laughs> Ooh, we should go siege more of their land uh, as I, I siege my own land. Right, let's go ahead and take this. There we go. It gets a bit confusing. There's so many red lines everywhere. Uh, I'm not sure which is mine and which is not. We finished converting faith. Very good. Let's go ahead and convert the faith elsewhere now as well. Look at that. The faith is very much spreading throughout our land. We're going to convert the Fields of Glass. Do you know That's a really cool name, but when I looked up the Fields of Glass, I couldn't actually find any lore on it at all, which is a little bit of a shame because I feel like this could be such a good... And it just has a name. You hear the Fields of Glass. You're like, wow, what happened there? Uh, but apparently not. So Betha has given me a son. Ambrose Dane the Quick. Let's go ahead and pin you, my son. Uh, we'll keep an eye on your education. Seven days left on this siege vent. And uh, look at that. Oh, we still haven't won the war. Should we just go ahead and siege their capital, possibly? No, because they have units there. I should really go back and kind of defend, right? Try and keep this army defended, because it's not very high quality at all. Corbin died! No! So who has Dawn now? I need a new marshal. My vassal and captain, Lords Normand of Old Town. You're going to become my marshal. Who has Dawn now? Lord Paramount Gilbert of the Westerlands. Uh, why, why can I not click on you? There we go. Are you Sword of the Morning? You're not, right? Yeah, he's not Sword of the Morning. What is this? Challenge for artifact. Well, I could steal the artifact. Okay. Can I just demand the artifact? I can't because I've already demanded it once already. I mean, I could challenge him for the artifact after the war, which I will want to do because I want to be holding Dawn and controlling who it goes to. Because I don't trust the other Danes to not lose it to the enemy. Uh, that's the, the, the problem there. Wait, why are... Oh, the high towers. Oh, yeah, because... That's who's leading the wars, isn't it? Look at that. They're going to get absolutely destroyed in the south. Right, Corbin, let's go ahead and unpin you. We don't need you anymore. Let's go over to West Roost as well. I guess we could go ahead and siege their capital. I think that would win us the war. Lady Melena has escaped as well. Who's my prison guard? Do I have a special? Keeper of the cells. This doesn't... Uh, it doesn't affect people escaping prison, though. Everyone's escaping my prison. My dungeons. Oh, dear. <laughs> my ally of 100 men. <laughs> He's braved himself against 7,000. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have extended an invite. I mean, it was his choice. I gave him the choice. Oh, Norman just died in his sleep as well. My council is cursed. My cousin and captive. My cousin. Paxter, you're going to become my marshal now. We're, we're having a very problematic situation. Right, we've taken prisoners. Let's go ahead and enforce the demands. Greetings, my perceptive lead. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I know when I am defeated. So be it. Right. I believe I can revoke her titles now. I won't kill her. But I will revoke her titles. Where are you? There she is. So if I go ahead and do this and I revoke the lordship, I get all of them, right? And we're not a tyrant. Correct. So let's go ahead and take back Harrenhal. That's fine. Lady Milana as well. I'm going to revoke your titles. I can only take one of them. Okay, that's always a little weird. I can take your titles as well. Again, I can only take one of them. So let's just take the one. And then what about Lady Merian the Impaler? You rebelled against me as well. So I'm going to take... The prince's pass from you and then give that to a new ally. Is there anyone else in here? There isn't. I'm going to deal with the rest of these guys in the next episode, though, because sadly that's all I have time for. But we are back, which is nice to see. And the performance issues seem to have gone. 
It's weird. It, it comes and goes. We'll have to see. But in the next episode, we're going we're gonna to do with our prisoners, dish out our new titles, and then I think we're going to declare war against the Reach. But that's it for today, guys. If you liked the video, remember to click on the like button. It helps with the algorithm. And I'll see you next time.